Okay, pottery students, I'm going to bring back a project I did a couple years ago. Since we are kind of part-time here and part-time remote, I thought this would be a fun project to bring back to life. So um, kind of as a beginning project and um, a project to kind of get us kind of going is ceramic animals. So um, I kind of like to bring in always some art history and some background of the purposes of art and um, why ceramic animals. So pottery is one of the oldest handicrafts in the ceramic tradition developed by the ancient Greeks was surely one of the most sophisticated. The word ceramic comes from the Greek keramos, uh, meaning potter's clay. Thanks to its durability, pottery has provided archaeologists with an invaluable insight into many aspects of ancient Greek life. Here is a figurine um, that represents a deer, which in Greek mythology was sacred to Artemis, goddess of the hunt and wild animals. The love of animals in life and death was a very important aspect in the ancient Greek world. The ceramic horse figurine was inspired by grave findings of the Mycenaean era. Um, so we've got a couple of the couple first examples here are animals that are not realistic looking, but are representations of a horse and a deer. So you can kind of be thinking about that when you're creating your um, your creature. Um, an anthropomorphic figure, which is a merging of animal and human. That might be something that you're interested in. Many e ancient Near East deities were represented in an anthropomorphic figures. Such images evoke the Mesopotamian belief in attaining power over the physical world by combining the superior physical attributes of various species. So think about that when you're creating your creature. Here is an effigy bowl. This is a container. Um, actually, it's made out of wood, but you could also um, uh, emulate, emulate it in clay. So here is a vessel that could be a decorative thing that you create using a pinch pot and adding features to it. Um, animal effigies were made in the form of bowls, jars, and bottles. They portray frogs, possums, uh, conch shells and other creatures that may embody cultural meanings derived from cultural myths and narratives. Fish of all types were an important um, fod for Mississippians and big mouth buffalo fish are a favored form in effigy vessels. In the Northwest, Native Americans oftentimes will stylize their um, forms using um, different uh, uh, animal forms and then adding uh, extra faces and imagery to it. Here is an Iraqi ram, and I believe this is something that may be a vessel where you pour um, oil from it. Here is another uh, vessel, very stylized, decorated with some pattern um, carved into the, the surface, thinking about that. so. Here are um, some examples from a few years ago that when we did this project, um, these are small figures that students had made. Uh, a mouse, a sheep, turtle, alligator. Um, Emma Burnett actually did a lot of creatures in her classes when she took ceramics. And here are some examples of hers. So um, think about your own culture, religion, values, imagery, natural elements around you that may influence your decision and what animal creature you make. Think about the color and surface texture for your design decisions. Um, proceed to create um, this, this little creature. I'd say make it about the size of your fist. Um, smaller or a little larger is fine too. Um, wedging, don't forget to kind of wedge up your clay, score and slip. So if you've got little arms and legs that you have attached, make sure that you score and slip. Um, make sure it's not too thick. So if you've got something that's a, a bit larger, um, keep the thickness of the walls about the thickness of your thumb. You can smooth with a sponge. Oftentimes with small things, I use a paintbrush and a little bit of water and smooth out that way into little crevices after you've done some carving. Um, 
And if you have anything that has like small arms or a tail, you may want to incorporate it so that it's attached and not sticking out. That usually is something that is easily knocked off or broken. Um, any scrap pieces you have, you put in the uh, back in the bags um, and consider your surface treatment. So this is something that you can do on your off day. Um, be sure to make sure that you get a small amount of clay to take with you and make your creature and then bring it back uh, on the day that you're here. Good luck. I know you'll look forward to it.